Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly message, no not message, conversation <laughs> with your person. It's an open conversation, whatever they want to talk about. Whatever the cards bring out, that's what we'll be talking about. This week we're using Rick X's Oracle deck to find out which person's focused in on when it comes to you and your connection. Then we'll be using the Grand, no the Terra Grand Lux. Ooh, guys. Conversation part, we're using the active side of Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. That is the masculine side of the deck. It's active energy. Then I'll let your person close us off with a message from the Blue Butterflies. This is the light side of the deck. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Taurus this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. At no, at no time, guys, should any reading ever tell you things you didn't already suspect or have a clue of. So, if that doesn't happen with this reading, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out. See if I picked up the energy there. It's for my Taurus. It's for my Taurus's person. Let's find out what they are focused in on. We got our first one. We got player. I've been playing the field and not ready to settle down. <laughs> it's amazing. Not ready to settle down or hasn't been. What else? What else? Pop. Love story. A true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. Guys, somebody's had a change of heart here. They're getting they ready to settle down. Mm -hmm. What else? Was there anything? Yeah, there's another one. Escape is zoom. I'm constantly distracting myself uh, to relieve of the pain of my reality. There's one more with that one. Secret admirer. I'm not ready to reveal my true feelings for you. Oh, guys. So, the person, hold the energy on the deck. The person coming forward, they've used some escapism. Uh, they've, uh, may, you know, may have acted like, no, nah, not, not into getting at anything serious with you, that kind of thing, when they really were. They were hiding their true feelings, for real. But having some issues with the escapism over here, a little bit of uh, distracting herself. So, yeah. Ooh, but they ready for a, a change. They're trying to build up the nerve. Let's get them talking. This Taurus is person. Taurus is person. Talk to us. How to change a heart. We'll start a new chapter. New chapter. Oh, pop, pop. Got strength card, Leo energy popping in. And y'all know the strength card is about taming the beast. Either you're taming it or training it. Hopefully you're doing both in balance. That would be our infinity sign to balance what you're doing. It's to getting to know each other on an intuitive level. Learning uh, each other's boundaries, that uh, energetic language that goes between us. Mm, so this person is trying, they, they really want to build confidence inner courage and confidence the fact that we've got this over here also is telling me there's a two-fold meaning on that card which is they were trying to keep that cold strong exterior the armor on on the you know to look bold brave and courageous i'm not weak i'm not in love that kind of thing <laughs> i'm not vulnerable when they really were so let's see what else is standing here We've got a two of swords energy at a crossroad trying to balance. They've been, like I said, they've been balancing on, on that outer exterior, hiding their true feelings. So, yeah, mm. crossroad energy and love. The blessing, my cup overfloweth with love. That's ace of cups. So, this person is definitely for quite a while hidden their true feelings. Uh, trying to keep up some kind of outer image of I'm not vulnerable, I'm not weak, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But the whole time they they had real feelings, and they're giving into those now. They are feeling a little bit more confident with the Nine of Pentacles. Con uh, Nine of Pentacles is about freedom and independence. I can handle my stuff. I'm not dependent on anyone. 
but it's also a card of confidence. The shadow side of the emotion is you feel alone, alone. Like you, like you got all this blessing. Yeah, if it's financial, you can handle your stuff, but you got nobody to buy nothing for and share it with. <laughs> yeah, it's lonely. Ew. What else? Oh, they're trying to balance some change. We're picking up two the energies of twos with the sword and then the two of pentacles energy. This is balancing and acclimating new changes. Learning how to uh, step into something new and different that affects your life every single day. Think of a Virgo energy on that one. Of a daily routine. You're incorporating something new. A new behavior. A new routine. A new way of thinking, new way of feeling. This person is trying to balance and, and get used to it. Got a devil card. Been fighting their inner demons. Mm -hmm. uh, and doing some Virgo energy. The introspection on the hermit. Mm -hmm. Really looking at what they've been doing and overcoming those inner demons. So yeah, and their inner demon is for whatever fears, whatever it was... Uh, insecurities, vulnerabilities, things like that, that had them hiding their real feelings and coming, you know, forefront of, yeah, let me settle down, that kind of thing. You're the one. Whatever caused them to hide that from you, uh, they've been uh, battling with it. Yeah, they've probably come out on top of that battle too because they want a new chapter they want a new story with us we've got a knight of cups Pisces energy coming at us actively offering their heart to us is their true wishes with the nine of cups and the page of cups they're feeling vulnerable this is going to be a shaky thing for them because they're, they're, they're taking the action to come towards us offer their heart but at the same time they feel absolutely vulnerable. Thrown off with uh, letting us, for some reason, uh, to offer the heart to talk, heart to heart conversation, serious about my feelings. To them, for some reason, it's coming across is that's just showing your weakness. <laughs> that makes you too vulnerable. Don't do that. This person is on shaky ground with that. Oh, yeah, then we got to get, look at that. The knight, the page, the knight, and then the king. We skipped over our queen. This person, yeah, is definitely trying to become more comfortable and feel more mature with their own feelings. Mm -hmm. Not not being judgmental of their own feelings and their own way of thinking. Just let me express my heart. Leave my mind out of it. Then we have a Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine Aries energy showing up, Taurus. Uh, with this one, what, what they are saying is you have totally captivated them. You're their sunlight. They're like the sunflower that's following your lead. You're the sunlight. They're going to turn their face to you and take cues. The strength card over here, try to read your energy is this a good time for me to talk about my real feelings? Are you going to judge me if I tell you how I really feel? Are you going to make me feel like a fool or an idiot? Something like that. But they're taking your lead. If you want a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person, start the conversation. Take the lead. And, and give them time to shake their way through it. They might want to, you know, it might take them a minute to open up and really get authentic with us. But start the conversation so they'll know it's okay. And they'll test the water of how, uh, how energetically connected are we. Can you sense that I'm breaking a sweat here? <laughs> but I'm wanting to talk to you anyway. Bottom of the deck, well, we got the Emperor energy, Divine Masculine Aries energy. Ooh, I like that. Feminine and Masculine energy. What's under him? Ow, the truth. The truth this person would really like to hit a milestone with us, move things up. This is about uh, respect and honor and celebrating it. Ceremony to get the f solid foundation of a commitment with us and start building with us. Oh, we got card of the past, nostalgia. 
also youthful energy and can sometimes represent children the fact that we're going taking it backwards here what do they want with us they're telling us our their true desires to build solid foundation fam and then family children world card they're ready to transition into that new chapter that new beginning to put something to an end put the past behind them and move forward star card hope for the future and they've done the alchemy guys because our star card always has um like our sagittarius energy mixed in with our aquarius energy where they've done the alchemy they've balanced their inner uh, emotions now and they know what they want mm -hmm. Ooh, i love that let's pull up all of the cards except the first one and then i'll get them talking let's leave the first ones out so i'll be cued into what they were saying Ooh, the strength card Ooh, really getting bold but i'll say it's a time with that strength card coming out like i said for each of you to learn each other's energetic language your boundaries what someone likes what they don't like things like that without having to be told so yeah Hold the energy this is for my Taurus. Let's get them talking. Guys, I'm going to pull a stack out on these little ones because y'all know I fumble before I start reading them. Let me get that one more time. This is for my Taurus. There we go. Talk to us. Ooh, pop. What else? What else? Ooh, fingers hurt, please. There we go. In here. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see what we're getting so far. I can't feel you like I used to anymore. But when I do, I miss you so much it hurts. Ooh. I started to feel safe with you enough to let down. Let my guard down a little. Your coldness hurts so much. Ooh, now this might be a fear statement coming from them where they're anticipating. If they actually open up, share their true feelings with you, their desires towards you, that you'll go cold on them. That's their worst fear. I wish, I wish we were part of each other's daily lives. Maybe someday. But no matter what has transpired in the separation, we are both growing and changing for the better. I have options and opportunities, but I still don't want anyone else. No one else is you. I know you're with others. I don't like it, but I've learned to accept it for now. This is deep soul connection. I feel it. I feel you. Ooh, guys. I would love it if you would just tell me how you really feel. Whatever it is, just tell me. Start the conversation, guys. Mm -hmm. See what else they want to say. What else? Ooh, pop. Bring it out. Ooh, pop. Three. Mm-mm-mm. Anything else? Bring it out. Tor Ooh, pop. No, not that one. It's this one. Ooh, don't. Mm. Hold in, is he? My fingers are fumbly. Deep down, I still feel optimistic about us. I see who you are. I don't think less of you for any life circumstances. I see your heart and I see your soul. I wasn't expecting this connection when it showed up. Even though I knew what it was right away. Yep, right away. <laughs> I wasn't ready. No one hasn't made it easier. I must trust in divine timing. Mm -hmm. This person, the whole time, knew their true feelings towards you and didn't show it and express it. I feel like you're keeping secrets. What are you not telling me? I hope for a reconciliation with you. 
there are times when I feel stuck in this energy. Then I pull myself out. I get all optimistic and stuff, guys. But then find myself right back in. Your absence is heartbreaking. Yeah. I feel like you abandoned me in the connection. Life feels so empty without you. The energy could be flipped. They could be saying that they abandoned it. They never, well, they never really jumped in, did they? Because they were hiding it. I don't want to miss you. I prefer to think of us as one, even if you're, even if you aren't present in my physical world right now. <laughs> yeah. Healing and overcoming wounds takes courage. I'm healing for you. My strength card. Some days are easier than others, but I feel like you're still there somewhere, somewhere. And I do have fantasies about you. Maybe they are better left in that space. Ooh. Let's see if there was anything else they needed to bring out from the deck. Was there anything else? Yep. Taurus person. Anything else? Yep. Hold the energy on the deck. Let me lay it over here. See what we got. I accept you the way you are. You do not need to come up to my expectations. I'm grateful that you showed up in my life. I will never forget you or this or these lessons in love no matter where we both end up. I can't wait for you to get it. I have to keep moving forward. If you don't come back, know there will always be a special place in my heart for you and for what might have been. I sometimes felt unappreciated and taken for granted by you. I should have walked away many times and for good that I didn't. Oh, guys, that may not be for all of us. Wait a minute, what am I hearing? It's almost like an echo, like it's echoing through. It, that may be something that we said to them that keeps echoing and playing off like a recording in their thoughts when they get triggered. Let's go ahead and see. I think we know what their true desires are, but let's see what, what those true desires and plan of action. Doesn't mean they'll take action on it. It's the desire to take action. What action do they desire to take towards us right now? Talk to us towards us. Pop, pop. Ooh. A king of wands energy. Leo showing up. Guys, Leo energy. King of wands is on fire. The motivator. On fire. And when he figures out what it is he truly wants, that fire ignites, and he won't stop till he gets it. He's very persistent. Mm -hmm. Got a, what is that? A six of coins. Ooh. In, invest in time and energy. Ooh, what this is telling me, this person's on fire. It, it, it doesn't matter what, how much time and energy they have to invest. Even resources, physical things. This is, you know, a card of charity. Given of whatever it is, time, energy resources this person's uh, willing to step into that energy for however long it takes six of swords to move away from the past and the storm this is a rite of passage saying you're moving forward to a new horizon but you've taken your wisdom from the experience of something with you and they are definitely on fire for a new beginning uh-huh this is uh Ace of Wands is about opportunity and new, you've got new direction, new motivation and inspiration to move in that uh, direction. Let's talk on that one for a minute. Seven of Swords, they want to take back what they feel like has been taken from them. And a lot of times, guys, um, this is sneaky behavior, you know, part of them that sneaky would be they were hiding their true feelings. From you sneaking around tiptoeing around it trying not to be so obvious with it but it's also a representation of their own thoughts their way of thinking and believing stole their happiness from them and they want to take it back and then we have a five of swords building confidence but also feeling a little bit defeated tell me more about that five of swords 
Eight of Cups energy. Ooh, they, that would be the fact we're getting the defeated card, the, the getting cut up by someone else, disarmed by someone else by their words and things like that. This person's worried you've already moved on, and that if they do attempt to reveal their feelings to you, they're going to get hurt. They're already anticipating a, a verbal backlash uh, from you, and. Wow, they're feeling very alone and trying going through that introspection. Mm, yeah, hold on. Let's see what else? Tower. They're really worried. Worried that it's going to be a sudden cut off uh, when they do reveal their feelings towards you and open up those communications that you're going to just slice them up. Uh, yeah. So they're lacking confidence right now and they feel like you've already walked away. They're trying to get perspective on it, uh, but they are worried that the minute that they do share share with you, and if this happens, the worst fear comes true, they're going to be standing in that tower moment of everything's going to come crumbling down around them because, yeah, they've built some energy. Uh, time, energy, and effort into getting clear with their self where they want to go with you and what they truly want and building that confidence to tell you. Queen of my heart, cancer energy on the bottom of the deck. And oh, stress and worry, anxiety. Yeah, they are having, a lot of times this is needless stress and anxiety, but nonetheless, it feels real. Anxiety when it comes to the queen of my heart and not quite sure what to do. They're trying to formulate a plan and are we in sync and do we want the same things? Could we build something from the blueprint of the same thing? So this person most definitely, but they're scared. They're scared. They're probably trembling with that, anticipating the worst. That would be their monkey brain chatter coming in, trying to scare them <laughs> when they want to come at you and talk to you. So yeah, Ooh, that and like I said, they're putting you into the divine feminine Aries energy, the leading energy of if you want a heart to heart serious conversation with them, face to face, or you know it, over phone something, open the conversation. They're gonna get brave enough to step in, but hopefully you won't cut them up too bad. <laughs> Hold the energy on the deck. Let's get them to close off for us, Taurus. Let's see what final message they want to give you. Taurus is person. Ooh, that one flipped face up. Give in. Are they telling you telling you that? Or are they telling themselves or both? What else? Ooh, that one don't let go of me. Slow down. Don't move away from me too fast. Don't run. <laughs> You're my obsession. I can't quit thinking about you. I feel so tempted by you all the time. Take a chance. Give me a chance. Tell me what you need. Yeah, the lead. The lead on that voice. The divine feminine Aries energy. Talk to me. Tell me what you need. I wish we talked more. I want to tell you everything. Open up communications with them if you're interested, Taurus. Reach out to me, please. I'm here, please. I really want to make love to you. Ooh, who wouldn't? It's a Taurus. Sorry, guys. I don't, I don't want to see you with anyone else that would crush them. You're my treasure. You're mine. You're mine. I'm here, mine. Commitment scares me, but I'm willing. I'm they're willing. They are scared, though. Please don't give up on me. Last one, guys. Ooh, I pushed it back. Hang on. Let me get a hold of it. You're so irresistible. Woo-hoo, Taurus. Guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings, as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.